Hi, it's Jill with Crickflix, and um, I am in yet another um, filming spot. Um, now that Jenna has her own office, I have removed the L portion that was in my office because it was way too crowded, and the bruises were getting to be a little bit much for me all over my legs. So, I will see how this video, after I got everything down and removed and got everything all set up, I thought, oh my gosh, I um, totally forgot about my filming. So we'll see what happens. This will be my first shot at it. I'm working on the theme of the trolls. I'm gonna grab some little color eyes that I have here, because she's got one green eye and one orange eye. <laughs> Here's a green eye that I could put right over that. And then let me find an orange eye. And lo and behold, I've got an orange eye. I'm going to put the googly eyes on her. So I need a green for the other side. And an orange. This is um, a two foot piece, and then the rest of them are 18 inches. Uh, let's see, there we go. Here's another orange. And I'm going to be using some materials that I've not used in the past. And the very first one are these eyes. Guys, you know, I'm sure hoping I can figure out something with the filming that this will work because it is a thousand times better having that that side desk. Because um, you even get at my printer, I tell you, I got bruises on top of bruises. You know, I have bruises coming into my offices and bruises coming out, going out. So let's. I hope this works. So, I'm going to keep my glue gun up here and I'm going to put these aside until that's all set. And this one has pink eyes. I wonder if I have some. Let me just try because I really think the googly eyes on these look cute. So, I'm going to see if I have pink. Um, I don't think anything that's new here. My my <laughs> my son-in-law came over the other day to drop my my granddaughter off that I that I take care of Isabel everybody's heard of Isabelle my little Terimoto but anyway she, he dropped by and it is danger when my husband and him get together um, they are absolutely best of friends. But I don't have pink, so I'm not going to do it. Um, and it's awesome, and I love how close they are. Let me see if these have an eyeliner on them. I, I love that they're that close, but they get together, and you better not be in a hurry to go anywhere. He, uh, let me see if I would like those. He just had hernia surgery. So he's out of work, and he stopped over and, and got to talking to my hubby and um, uh, a few hours later they're still out there talking. I'm not really thinking anything of it. They were discussing how they, because we want to redo our deck. So they're out there discussing how they should redo it. They were out there forever. And I went to take... Charlie to school or to pick her up. I need blue flowers here. But I'm going to put the blue flowers on her headband. And I'm looking on my wall to see if I see any blue flowers. And I did. Let me see. Guys, didn't I come super prepared? I got a bunch of requests for me to do a tour of my office. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to do that again. I've done a few of them. But I will, I will give it some thought and decide whether or not that is something I would care to do again. Um, anyway, they were out there talking forever. And actually, I had taken Charlie to school and got back home and they were still out there talking. So then I went and picked up Charlie later 
and dropped Isabel off at home and did whatever I had to do when I came back. And they were no longer talking and my son-in-law finally had left and gone home because he had to get his kids at the bus stop. And I find my husband out tearing our deck up. Um, so they had it all figured out how they were going to do it, exactly what they were going to use. My son-in-law ran over to um, Menards and got quotes um, using composite because we have the Deafy wood in it. So it's splinters and things on the kids and just all these reasons they decided to go composite, which is all fine and dandy. I don't care. But he came home with the quotes and went over it with us and then I went back and picked Charlie up from school and came home finding tear my deck apart. So then he comes home three hours later, to, starts working on making he, oh no, he'd already unloaded. He'd already gone and gotten all the all the wood that they had, the composite. They had to order the rest of it. But I thought, oh my gosh, who does that? Who does that? You know, people at least think about it when they're gonna do something. It's not that I didn't want it done, but um, he says, uh, yeah, it's only going to take a couple days. They've got it all torn off. My son found out last night that he was doing it, and, and so he showed up to help him take it down. He was there within 30 minutes, um, brought his family over and cooked out on the grill, but he's out there helping my husband take down what he needed to take down um, to get ready for the new the new one and he said oh it'll only take a couple days to do it and we have rain in the forecast for the next 10 days so i don't think it's going to be taking a couple days anyway um i'm working on all of these jenna has already done and has them all glittered and ready uh, except for a couple of things that i i wanted to add to it and now i'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up and i used the the Tom Bow um, quick dry glue to glue the eyes on here. And let's see, my glue gun doesn't heat up real fast. And what I'm going to be using on her hair is it's one count jute rope, 15 feet, and it's 4.57 millimeters. It's, it's pretty heavy. And the last one I did, I did in the hot pink fake fur, but I don't have any hot pink fake fur right now. So, and they don't, like it says, I never make the same thing twice. You know, it's just a stroke of luck that some of them resemble. Which isn't always a perk, because some people want the exact same thing they see, and it unfortunately just is not possible. Um, so I did have that noted in my shop, that no two items are identical. And that would be after some folks thinking that they're going to be identical. And they're not. We've got her here. I can't tell if you can see or not. She's all glittered up, and I'm not going to be adding any more to her. She has got sufficient. And I also ended up peeling off the contact paper that I put on top of my desk because my desk was getting so worn. Um, where I didn't have glass on it, and the and then the contact paper started tearing, so I tore it all off too. So guys, I I I am just out of my mind. She is just hilarious. I don't know what any of their names are. I was hoping that I had some kind of braid that I could unbraid and put it in her hair, but unfortunately, I don't. So I went this route on her. Um, that would have been really, really, really cute. Really cute. And, guys, um, while that hot glue is heating up, I think I'm going to have to stand up and open a window. I feel like I'm boiling here. It is hot in here. There we go. There's an eye. There we go. And, oh, my mother went down to bed and, and I said I was going to be working a little bit so I just went down to get something out of the what? It was a beer and she said do you know what time you're going to be done? I said no but what difference does it make? Well apparently 
Um, she can't sleep because my rolling wheels uh, keep her up because she's right below where I'm at. I, I tell you guys, I am doing my absolute best because I think it's the right thing to do to have her here. But it is life changing. Life changing. We have a discussion, not a fight, but just talking to get her to understand because she does have dementia. And so you never know what to expect from day to day because some days she has really good days and then other days not so much and can't remember anything. So I have to go over this discussion all the time from the time I moved her in. We sat down and we, and we said, this cannot be, I'm not going to, I don't want her be, to be alone. And to me, living with me, there's always somebody here, there's always something going on, it, but it's always busy. My life is very, very, very busy. And so I just go, 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 go. And sometimes it's really hard for her because she just wants me to sit. And so she said she still gets very lonely. Well, the hard part is, is that she's nearly 90. I'm 65. And I'm not at that stage in my life of slowing down. Probably never will reach that stage. At least I'm going to fight it tooth and nail. But... Um, and so it's really, really hard because she understands, but yet she doesn't understand. She doesn't want me to work so hard, um, but doesn't remember that she kind of did the same thing and wasn't around when we were little or young or growing up. And guys, anybody that has some, some encouragement, words of encouragement that has ever been through this, I'd love you to share because it is not easy. Um, get any tweezers. Hoping to find the tweezers. I know I have one right here. It is real hard because I want my life to go on. I don't want my life to change. She doesn't want me to work anymore because she says I work too much. She wants me to, would like me to quit doing what I do. And that isn't going to happen. <laughs> um, so I had a talk and said, you know, I'm not 90. And I can't. I can't change. I can't. So we have some rough moments, guys. Rough moments. I asked my husband last night, I said, what would we have done if, if my brother who just passed away, who did everything for her, he didn't live in the same town, but he had the, owned his own business and had the flexibility to go and, and do what she needed. He'd had somebody coming in and staying with her and everything. And I said, what would, I be, what would have happened had we not moved during here and he passed away? My husband said, well, she probably wouldn't be here today. She would have never made it through that. But, um, hard, guys. It is hard, hard, hard. She's asking me to quit doing the thing I love to do most. Well, most is, of course, my grandbabies. But I love doing this. I can't give it up. So, we have that. It starts crying, Jakes. Crying every day. I think I'll go slam my head in the sliding patio door. That's what I think I'll do. Knock some sense into me. Because, guys, none of this has an easy answer. It is very, very not easy. I'm going to do a little... I'm going to do because I don't have any pink googlies, I am going to do my glossy accents. And boom, you got it. It just gushed out. I do love that stuff, but now it's going to have to dry up a little before I can stand her up. Her eyes will be running everywhere. 
So we'll take that one on, move that one over there. And then we're going to take the two foot poppy. And what I'm going to do on her is, I'm going to do the blue flowers as well, but a different flower than this one. Get little strings of glue grabbing me. Okay, now I'm going to take this yarn that I have. Let's move you over here, Poppy. And we're going to take these strings. And since this is frayed at the end like this already, I am going to start with it up here. And take a little hot glue just to hold that piece down. But I don't want to glue the tip because I want this frayed. And... There we go. Let me go around this way. All our flowers are out. All our grass is green. Our char, our trees are all in, 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 or full, I should say. And I am loving it. Loving it. Loving it more than words could ever tell. I am such a summer freak that um, having my, <laughs> and I sure hope the deck goes quick because it's the pool deck. So, and I was reading, we were trying to do something that wouldn't burn the kid's feet because the deck gets so hot. And so I, I looked after the fact, um, the composite and it does get hot but I do believe that from what I read last night that it didn't matter what we put in there it was going to get hot so I'm going to go with that probably have to put some sort of sprinkler system oh there goes my dog see it's even, even easier now for me to open the door so she can get in here she's the only one left out of all the dogs we had only one remaining. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to upgrade this a little bit. See, now there she goes right back out again. Oh, my word. I'm lay down over there. Silly mutt. Today I was on a phone call about my mother's life alert, making sure that it was canceled and trying to figure out where to drop off the equipment and got talking to the woman because my, it was my hometown, which I don't live in. And as I was talking to her, she asked me my name. And, you know, I didn't think anything of it because I probably figured she was trying to verify before she takes and closes my mother's life alert account that it wasn't a prank call. But come to find out, it was a whole classmate of mine. And she said, do you remember? And gave me your name. She said, do you remember me? Oh my God, of course I do. I went to prom with your brother. So we got to talking, but I haven't talked to her in 50 years. But I thought that was pretty comical. Those kinds of things are fun. Okay. Getting there, guys. Getting there. Probably two more in here, and I think I'll be good. And what I think I'm going to do is, because I have no idea. Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flicks, and... I just spent, I don't know how long, filming and shut my camera or went to stop it to see if it was even filming and it wasn't. So, um, I would just have said, let's forget it and not do it. However, I really need to find out if this is going to work. I did rearrange my office this week because... Jenna's office is now up and in full, full working order. And so I've decided now that I don't have to share my office, it was time to get back the larger work area because I had the area where she was working. And it's getting very hard very crowded so I took it down but I realized after I took it all locked down I lost some of my 
or not some of them, the ability to film is kind of, I don't know how well it's going to work. I'm working on the trolls. Um, I just showed this one. There's one two foot and then there's four 18 inch. And this little girl here, I just love her, has um, one orange eye and one green eye. So I did a googly eye um, on her, an orange one and a green one. And then she's all glittered up and a little bit of glue hanging over. And I, let me see here, gotta grab a base to put her on. Um, man, I was just on a roll too and fell off. But, let's see here. Got to get this done quick because my mother wants to know when I'm going to bed because it bothers her when I'm up here working. Then we have her. Um, I was hoping to do the crinkly hair that she had with what, some sort of a rope, yellow, untwisted to give it that kink. However, I can't find anything. I don't have anything, believe it or not, in this office. I don't have anything. So I'm probably not going to be able to do that one. And then I have her. And she's all glittered up and ready. And she's got kind of fuzzy hair. And then I'm doing Poppy. I have two of her. One of her is over here. And I put flowers and gems. And um, she has pink eyes, but I didn't have any pink eyes in my stash. I don't know if it doesn't come with pink. It didn't appear to have that color. Um, she's laying down because I've got glossy accents in her eyes and I don't want it to run. So she's one again glittered and then there's some flowers thrown on her. And then with her I'm using this jute, this pink jute rope, um, 15 feet, 4 by 5, 7 millimeters for a dollar. I don't know where I got it but it's really heavy. Um, one of these I had done, I had used fake fur to do the hair, but I don't have any pink hair, fake fur, and I couldn't find any at the store. So I went with this. But one of the things that I tell everybody from from the get-go, or on the front of my shop, um, read carefully. No two things that I do are identical. It just doesn't happen. And I choose to do it that way, um, number one, so everybody's stuff is unique. And number two, so that I can continue to enjoy doing it. The minute you start doing it like factory, mass producing, my dog wants back out again, in and out. She just wants me to leave the door open. Out the, um, anyway, um, the minute you start doing everything exactly the same, for me, I don't like that because it makes me feel like it's, it's, it's a job. It gets boring because you're always doing the same thing. So, I always change mine up a little. And, and not only that, the materials that you might use for something, they might not have them again when you go to make it. You know, um, that's, that I found to be very, very true with specialty papers that I have used in the past. This is why I started buying all of my paper from, um, the AC converters is because they I can get them any time, um, but the novelty that you get like at Michael's and the single sheets and stuff, if you're working on a big project, I do not recommend ever going that route because if they run out, you are in dire straits. Um, let me see. I'm going to put some gems on that one here. And then I'm going to put the hair on the back. I think. I'm trying. I'm really hoping that that I'm able to find a place to put the camera where I can still film and you guys can see what I'm up to. Um, didn't even think about Well, I guess it wouldn't have made a difference because I needed, I needed to have... I've got bruises on top of bruises on my thighs. Um from hitting the end of the desk where it stuck out by my printer. And I said, I just, I've got to, I've got to move this before I'm permanently marred. 
so and I've mentioned this on numerous videos that my mother lives with me now and I don't know if anybody um, has taken care of a parent or is taking care of a parent or aunt or uncle or anybody um, it, it gets very 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 difficult she has dementia and she is almost 90 and gets very upset because she wants me to quit what I do um, so I can sit and talk to her and visit because she said she gets lonely. When we first moved her up here, I sat down and I explained to her, I have a very busy life and I, you know, none of that was going to change. I take care of my grandkids. I have a business, all these things. And she was just so happy to move in that she's just, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. She's totally fine with it. Well, it's been five months now and she's starting to get lonely and she's having these great crying jags. And keep in mind she has dementia. But when I talked to her yesterday, she was talking about how lonely she gets. And <laughs> the thing is, is that we go out in the morning to my daughter's and have a play date with all the kids. And she plays with all the grandkids and we have lunch together. And my daughter is just talks to her constantly, waits on her, caters to her and everything husband gets up in the morning, has breakfast with her, and sits and talks about whatever. And uh, there's always something going on. At night we have something going on. Um, always something. But she told me yesterday she's lonely. And I think she is referring to, because she's told me numerous times, she doesn't want me to do this anymore. She wants me to, to, to stop working. She said, I work too hard. And, you know, that I just work way too hard. Well, I, you know, um, I mean, now I'm having a counseling session and I'm asking, asking you guys, help! But um, I know what it is, is that she wants me to sit and talk with her during the day and watch movies and reminisce about, you know, the good old days and that sort of thing and just change my lifestyle. And I had... I had gone over this again and again and again that I'm 65, she's 90. I'm not going to live the life like I'm 90. I have to live my life and enjoy and I didn't want that to become a burden where I was going to be asked to change anything and have to. Because again, in the beginning it was just to have somebody around. I was so thrilled that there was somebody here. And she was never alone, but she's never alone. But it's gotten to a point now where that's not good enough. Um, and I know I'm up here working now, and she is down below, in the floor below, right below where I'm at, and she wants to know what time I'm going to be gone. And I, I you know, sometimes guys pray for me because sometimes I kind of get snappy because I don't, I don't know what difference it makes, what makes at what time I get done. And when I get done, I'm done, and I call it a night or whatever. And I don't want to get like that because I know she does. I mean, it's hard. It, it's hard. But it's getting har harder lately because I think that the newness <laughs> of living with us is worn off. Um, she doesn't have enough to do, and I've try been trying to encourage her to join some of an elderly recreation to play cards or do something, but she doesn't want to do that. She doesn't want to. She wants to spend all her time with family, and I understand that, too. And she is with family all the time, but it's not, it's still not enough. She, she, she won't let me out of her sight, and if I'm going somewhere, she wants to go, too. Um, and I don't know, I don't know what to do because there's times that I just need, I just need my time. I don't get much of that, guys, between my grandkids and my husband and my, and my mother now. And now that my brother's passed away, everything that he has, had done, he did everything for her, is now me. 
and a lot on my plate. That's why you guys haven't been seeing very many <laughs> films from me lately. However, I'm trying to get back because it is my escape, guys. I can't quit doing this because this is my, this is my sanity. No matter how bad it go, how hard it gets in the day, when I come in my office and start creating, it relieves so much pressure. But I know it's going to start up again in the morning. And I'm just, my husband's leaving for out of town. And he's the one that gets up and makes her breakfast and gets her all situated. And I don't know. Any of you that, again, have helped with caretaking. If you got some pointers for me, what made your lives easier? Or is it just hard and that's all there is to it? You know, again, it's the right thing and I'm glad because had she been living alone when my brother passed away, she wouldn't be here right now either because at least she had me when that happened. Um, but, it doesn't make it easy. And let's see here. My, my um, there we go, I put those ropes that I said is, is part of her hair. I'm gonna put some more blue flowers on there. My son-in-law just recently had uh, two.